I will teach them to fear the 54i. Prevent the hostile robot from reaching our base. What's up guys, Champ here, bringing you another Black Ops 3 gameplay. Today what we got here is a safeguard gameplay on the map Newtown. As you can see on the screen, I jump right into the action in this game. The action never stops. I'm using the Razorback SMG machine gun. And I got on it the pass mags, the extended mags, and the silencer. I think all three of those attachments help me out really well in this gameplay. As you can see right here, I'm already up in the spawn. I need every bullet I can get so I got the extended mags on. I need to reload fast so I can just be ready to go and not get killed while reloading. I'm right next to the guys. We don't have much time for that, so we got the fast mags. And I got the silencer, of course, because I don't want those guys knowing I'm there. See how they just run right by me? Look at him. He don't even know I'm there. They don't even know I'm there. I'm just killing them. I think had I not had these three attachments on, this gameplay would not have been possible. I am running scavenger in this gameplay, but I was not able to make it over to those scab packs. Because had I ran in front of that door, I would have been shot which made me pick up that gun that I really didn't want. I think it had a thermo sight on it, so I, mean, I was destined to die as soon as that happened. But here we go. Now we're going to start on the streak that I really go on for this game. See, what I'm doing this whole first half is I'm just going right up into the enemy spawn spot, and I'm just picking them off as they run by. One by one, I'm all up in their space this whole entire half. I try not to stay in one spot for too long, because I know that these enemies, once they get killed a bunch of times, they start looking at the kill cam, then they have a little bit dead out for you, and they start trying to come get you. They might look at the scoreboard, realize, you know, you're streaking right now, I'm probably like 20 and 1 at this point, so they probably going to start gunning for more any time now. Sometimes you get lucky in these safeguard games where the other team is just really looking to push that little by. They're not even worried about anything. I mean, look at these guys. No worry at all. Not even looking right or left. Their eyes are straight forward and forward only. I would have had another kill right there if the half didn't end on me, which really would have came into play in the future. If you keep watching this video, you'll see why. So now I know I'm streaking. I don't just want to be the first guy to go out there. I want to wait a little bit and let my teammates push up first before I just go poking my head out there. So I push right up into this little corner spot. This is a good spot on pretty much any Nuketown game. You get the whole view of this side of the map. If anyone comes up, you can see him. If too many people come up, you can just go right to the left and bounce right back to the spawn. And right here, I get real lucky. As you can see, that car just blew up literally like two feet away from me. I'm surprised it didn't kill me. I'm happy it didn't kill me, though, because it would have took me right off my streak. And this whole gameplay would have never happened. Now, if you look at the mini-map, all the blue triangles have pressed up pretty much. So it's time for me to press up with them. If you want to keep your streak alive, you just press up when your teammates go up. And you fall back when your teammates fall back. Right now, I'm going to stay right behind this bus. There's no need for me to go any further up than where I'm at here. I know my teammates are going to keep pushing up, and I know they're going to keep trying to push out. But they're not going to really push out too far because my teammates are up so far. The only thing I really have to worry about is if my teammates push in too much. If they push in too much, then they will spawn behind us. And one, the round will end so quickly that I might not be able to get my nuclear or whatever streak I'm going on at that time. Or two, I most likely won't even notice that they spawn behind me. They'll just sneak up behind me and kill me. This is safeguard, so there's not much UAV in this game. So I did manage to pick up my hater right here. So now I don't have to worry so much about them spawning behind me. Actually, if they spawn behind me now, I might even like it. I'll just turn around and get more kills. Now, I made a couple mistakes in this game. I must have left the room. I must not have known it was safeguard. If I knew it was safeguard, I probably wouldn't have combat focus on. I definitely wouldn't have grabs on. I definitely wouldn't have raids on. I mean, that's just shooting really high for a safeguard game. I mean, these streaks, I 
think I'm on relentless right now, so these streets take about 20 kills to get to. And realistically, I don't feel like I'm gonna get that every game. I probably would have ran something more like a counter, a UAV, than I would have threw the hater on still just in case I did go streaking. I just picked up the brutal metal right there, and I'm kind of wishing that my teammates didn't push this robot in so quickly, because I'm in a very good position right here to just take down this nuclear, this half, right now, right here. So before this round starts, I kind of say to myself, alright, I just saw the brutal metal, I need to play this safe. I'm not even going to push out. I'm just going to go up in this window. I'm going to kind of camp it out. I know people are going to have to push their way in here. It's the only way to get the robot in is to come through this window area. So I'm going to wait patiently. I don't exactly know why I go downstairs, but I do kind of know why. I'm not a patient player. Camping is not my game. So when I start to get on these streaks and I start camping, I'm kind of playing completely out of my element. This is not what I really play like or what I know how to play. So because of my camp in here, I kind of put myself pretty much out of this game. I got two kills here in the window, but I did have to retreat a little bit. I got nervous, I thought the other guy was shooting at me, so I kind of ducked away for a second. And boom, just in that little bit of time, I pushed the robot in. So now I only got 45 seconds to get three kills. I'm still thinking, yeah, no problem. I push out to my spot here again, kind of blow my shots there with that guy but it's far and I got the silencer on and boom what happens the Varric site gets me the new scheme site in the game just pulls up on me and destroys me I am so mad right now that I just blew that nuclear that I do come out in a little rage kill a couple more people and that's the end of the game but I hope you guys enjoyed this game it was a good game I did get the brutal medal I ended up with a 27 kill streak which really isn't that bad if you think about it I also had that 13 gun streak at the beginning of this game so this was a very action packed game just me going off with my gun I had the wraps I had the wraith but I never called it in because I knew that it would just make the spawns flip all crazy and I might not be able to get my nuclear I wish I called it in now because I didn't get my nuclear anyways for those of you wondering why I always flash this screen, it's just a reminder that I do have 12,000 crypto keys and it keeps growing. So if you subscribe and you get a couple more people to subscribe, I am going to do this supply drop and we can all watch me open all these packages. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Champ at Champ Gaming. Come see me.